Every once in a while, a really useful thing comes along that makes life easier. Well, Apple recently released a shortcut aptly named Remember This. It's an awesome idea built into a simple shortcut. This is one of those videos that I hope you stick around and watch. Why? Because this is one of the most practical shortcuts I've ever seen. Hi, my name is Rich, and if you're anything like me, you need to jot down things to remember. I've done it with the Reminders app and Quick Notes in the Notes app and a few other ways, and they're all pretty good. But recently, a subscriber commented in a video that she downloaded the Remember This shortcut and loved it. And I'd never heard of it, so I looked it up, installed it, and I could immediately tell this was a keeper. This shortcut was designed for people with memory loss, but I think it's for anybody that wants to keep track of things. So to be clear, this shortcut creates an Apple note that allows you to log what happens throughout the day and keep track of literally anything you wanna jot down. And you can add photos to the note too, which makes it even better. But one really cool thing is it creates only a single note for the day. You can make multiple entries in a single day, but it all goes in to one note. It's like a daily journal of sorts. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And all of this is achieved with a single tap to run this shortcut. It's quick, it's easy, and for sure, it's worth a try. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you five simple things. How to download the Remember This shortcut. How to add the shortcut to your home screen as either an icon or a widget, just whatever you like the best. How the shortcut works with Apple Notes, which is the cool part how to tweak the shortcut to make finding your notes easier. And this may seem a little hard, but stick with me, it's not that difficult. And then a bonus tip on the end on how to add a notes widget to your home screen to quickly access these notes. All right, let's get rolling. Okay, the very first thing we need to do is actually get a hold of the shortcuts. And by the way, you need to have the shortcuts app on your phone. And if you don't have the Shortcuts app on your phone, just go to the App Store, search for Shortcuts, and then download the app, and you'll be good to go. All right, you go into Shortcuts, and you may have a variety of shortcuts you've created, or maybe none, just depending on how what you've done. And you're gonna tap on Gallery, and then there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff show up, but we wanna search for it. So we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna type Remember, and here it pops up already, remember this. And all you have to do to add it is to tap the little plus, just like that. And now you've got the shortcut. And now we'll go back to the shortcuts, and here it is. So now you might wanna add this shortcut to your home screen. So you can tap the three little dots there, go down to the share menu, and tap on add to home screen, and then add it like that. And now you're done. And to run it, all you have to do is just tap on it and run it. But you might also want this to be a widget on your home screen, it's up to you. But to add it as a widget, you simply press and hold on the home screen, tap the plus, and then scroll down till you see shortcuts. and then it'll pop up and click Add Widget. And now you've got sort of a larger version of that, and that's what I like. So I'm going to tap and actually remove the short, the smaller widget. And now you've got the shortcut right there, and anytime you wanna use it, you just tap on it and go. All right, so this is how the shortcut works. If you tap on it, it'll just ask you, what do you wanna remember? And maybe it's, buy groceries. And now you click done, and it'll ask you, do you want to include a photo with that? And in this case, I'm just gonna say no. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, and when we go into the notes folder, you can go into the notes, and then here it is. And it captions everything, what happened today, and it puts the date on it, and then it tells you what to remember in this case, buy groceries. And so that's all there is to it. Except that when I have a whole bunch of notes in my notes folder, 
I might have a hard time finding that note. So here's the tweak that I want to show you. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it remember this and I'm going to click done and now I've got a folder that I can easily get to but I have to be able to put the notes into that folder now to tweak that shortcut so that the note will go into the folder we just created you tap on shortcuts you go to remember this and tap on the three dots and then you have a whole bunch of stuff here and it seems can seem kind of confusing and you have to be careful as you go down here but if you scroll down just a little bit until you come to create note with text in and then it's kind of grayed out there it says folder but if you tap on that folder you can now go into all of the folders you have in Apple Notes. And if you remember, we created Remember This. And so now it'll actually put the note into that folder. So now you're done. And now that we've made that little tweak, when we go to use the shortcut, we just tap on it. And I'll type, I love this shortcut. Click done. Do you want to take a photo? I think I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to just snap a photo of my gear right there. And I'll tap on use photo. And it'll ask you, do you want to allow it to be used in the note? And only ask you this one time. We'll click always allow. And now when we go into notes and we go back to remember this, there's the note along with the photo just like that now that's really handy and a quick way to keep track of things because you've got a folder dedicated to this but to make it even easier you can add another widget and if you tap and hold and then click on this a little plus and we're going to go down to notes and this is the folder widget, so I'm going to click Add Widget right there. And now if I click and hold, I can edit that widget and choose the folder. In this case, I want Remember This as my folder. And there it is. So I can tap on that, type in another note, click Done. We'll click no photo for that one and now the shortcut is run and if I want to review that I can just tap on it and it takes me right to the folder what happened today and then you see where I've written that in now keep in mind it creates only one note per day and so you can go back in here and you can sort these by date so if you tap on that and you go sort date sort notes by date created now they'll be in order for the days you've created them and you can quickly scroll through them and find what you're looking for just an absolutely awesome little app and by the way you can do this on your iPad as well if you have everything created on your iPhone you can pull over your iPad and just do the very same thing so we're just going to tap and hold, tap the plus, go down to shortcuts and it's already showing up on my iPad. I'll click add widget and I'm also going to tap and hold and I'll hit plus and I'm going to go to notes. I'll add the folder widget right there and then I'm going to hold on it and I'm going to add the widget and I'm going to go in to remember this and now I've got it on my iPad as well. And here is the note that we just did on the iPhone. Everything is there. And that is just really, really handy. So if you're walking around and you have your iPhone in your pocket, you can quickly take notes. But if you want to sit down and do some journaling with your iPad or anything else, you can do that as well. 
Wow, I love this little shortcut. I'm gonna use this thing all the time for a variety of different things. And whether you tweak the shortcut or not, my guess is you're gonna find it helpful. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.